Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we are going to be taking a look at a brand new update to Yuzu Emulator in which The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening has not only become fully playable, but also runs at maximum speed 60 frames per second at all times. This new build and version is available to use and download right now for Yuzu's Patreon supporters, so if you are already one, head on over to their Patreon page, a link to which you'll find down in this description, and if you aren't one but want to try this game out on this amazing emulator, simply follow the link in the description, support this emulator's development and you will get immediate access. This new release version has not only fixed The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, it has also given us significant improvement to many games on the emulator, including titles like Fire Emblem Three Houses, Astral Chain, Crash Team Racing, and Nitro Kart, and tons more. And in the coming days, as always, I will be doing a full overview of anything that has changed in this new version and delivering it to you as soon as I possibly can. Now, based off the gameplay footage you've seen of Link's Awakening so far, it's pretty obvious that we do still have some graphical issues. For example, the reflective layer on the water is broken. We have a lot of flicker on some geometry and plants due to texture inaccuracies and we also have a broken depth of field filter in the open world at least in the dungeon areas there are no issues with depth of field like you can see in gameplay now however the best thing about Link's awakening on yuzu by far is the fact that it does not suffer the same performance issues that it does on nintendo switch on yuzu it runs at a perfectly fluid 60 frames per second at all times not only is it running at full speed on my very powerful 8700k but it is also running at or close to full speed on a much lower end hardware also for example in the yuzu testing community over the past few days we've been looking at the performance on the ryzen 1600 the i7 3770k and also the 4790k and on all of those systems the game was running at or close to a locked 60. These kind of performance levels come partially thanks to the brand new asynchronous GPU emulation update which has drastically improved performance in pretty much every single game on this emulator across the board. If you didn't check out my video covering that update, you'll find a link for it down in this video's description. As I said, in the next couple of days I'm going to be covering everything that has changed in this new Patreon release. But for now, I'm going to be leaving you with some gameplay to show you just how amazingly and smoothly Yuzu Emulator can now play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As I said, anything that you could possibly want in respect to Yuzu or anything about this new version update can be found down in this video's description. And as always, please make sure to support your emulator developers. These guys have been putting in some unbelievable work in the last year or so and 100% are deserving of your support. As always, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave it a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these kinds of videos, and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I make a new video upload. Once again guys, thank you very much for watching, have a great day, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.
Huh? 